Speed is basically how much distance you travel in a given amount of time. Speed can be measured in meters per second, kilometers per hour, or in miles per hour. Like many of the concepts that we're going to look at in this series, it's probably easiest to think of speed in mathematical terms. Speed equals distance traveled divided by time taken. I can run 100 meters in 15 seconds, so my average speed over a 100 meter track is 6.7 meters per second. I can ride 100 meters in 13 seconds, so my average speed on the bike was 7.7 .7 meters per second. The two speeds I calculated over the 100 meter track were averages of course. My actual speed at any given moment varies. Here we can see the whole 100 meter track. That little speck there is me dressed in bright orange so that you can see me a little easier. By drawing dots on the screen of my position after 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds and so on, right up to the 15 second mark when I crossed the finish line, you can see that the distance I covered every second varied. As I got faster near the start, I covered more and more distance every second. In the middle of the sprint, I was travelling more or less at the same speed, since I was covering the same distance every second. Towards the end, I slowed down a little, and was covering less distance per second. I can actually compare my 100 meter running sprint with my 100 meter bike sprint. On the bike I sped up quite slowly, but kept getting faster and faster for a longer amount of time, and my highest riding speed ended up being much greater than my highest running speed. You can see that as a runner, I was in the lead for most of the race. Here at the 8 second mark, I as a runner was ahead. But after that, I as a bike rider caught up and then passed my running self. Ready, set. If I get some students to time me every 5 meters, I can get more information about how my actual speed changes over a 100 meter sprint. Here are the times that I took to run 5 meters, 10 meters, 15 meters and so on. I'm only showing the first 50 meters here so that you're not overloaded with information. I ran the first 5 meter interval in 1.49 seconds, which means my average speed in that 5 meter interval was 5 meters divided by 1.49 seconds or 3.4 meters per second. The next 5 meter interval took me only 0.87 seconds, 2.36 minus 1.49. So my average speed during that interval was 5 meters divided by 0.87 seconds, which equals 5.7 meters per second. We can repeat the procedure and get a... Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Motion Episode 1, Speed. The Shedding Light on Motion series is a visual treasure trove of demonstrations, animations, and explanations of all things motion. To an extent, we're all familiar with motion because we all move and we see movement everywhere. But a detailed knowledge of motion has allowed us to build the wonderful modern world that we live in. In episode one, Speed, presenter Spira Liakos introduces students to the concept that speed is a measure of how fast something travels in a given amount of time, looks at how speed varies in a sprint, explains the concept of velocity, and demonstrates a number of ways of measuring an object's speed. The student worksheets and practical activities that accompany the Shedding Light on Motion series can be downloaded for free from our website at www.liakoseducationalmedia.com. Thanks again for watching.